In the last episode, we packed up the boat to head south. Elise flew out, and new crew came on board. We left Petersburg and tucked into Myers Chuck on our way to Ketchikan to wait out a storm, and enjoyed exploring until the weather let up. Then we continued on to Ketchikan, where we got our paperwork ready for entering Canada. In this episode, we leave Ketchikan on day 8 and anchor in Foggy Bay for the night before crossing into Canadian waters. We get some great weather and get to sail before we reach Prince Rupert, then end up having to wait out another storm. Finally, getting to make it into the Inside Passage, we enjoy our time traveling with our friends. In our day, so a lot depends on, you know, the conditions. Because, you know, if you have a tailwind, you build up, you can gain a couple knots, and gain some speed, you know. But it gets too rough, so it doesn't need it. Finally got some wind again and we were ready. Woohoo! We're a couple of hours out of Foggy Bay. That's where we're hoping to anchor for the night. And then tomorrow on to Prince Rupert. And then we'll probably have to duck in for another storm. But hopefully this one's only a day. The last one was like a four or five day. -er. It was pretty big. They named the Florida storm Sam. And the Alaska storm didn't get a name, but it covered the whole entire Gulf of Alaska. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Some friends said, oh, that's just called Thursday. Oh, So we had 22 and a half knots of wind. We're going 9.8. Finally sailing. And we have wind. Okay, I'm going. way to Prince Rupert. We should be there tomorrow. They're gonna come right on our boat. I was just thinking it'd be great if we had dolphins. Right up beside them. Oh that is awesome. Right there about ahead of us. Hold that.
train, Foggy Bay. Our last stop in the U.S. before we get to Canada. Being ready to head out of Foggy Bay. There's not enough water in that channel to leave yet, so we're waiting for the tide. I have eight more feet to go. It is beautiful this morning. Austin's getting ready to raise the Canadian flag, so we'll be entering Canadian water shortly. We've got our Canadian flag, Alaska flag, quarantine flag, and then the U.S. flag is and our the U.S. Canadian flag. flag. We're going to Canada. So how that works is. Out of respect to Canada, we have to have the uh, U.S. flag below the Canadian flag. Oh, gotcha. And then when we're in, in U.S., if we're Canadians, we got to have the Canadian flag below the U.S. flag. Gotcha. And there's ice on the deck and ice on the sails. It is October 6th. Tell me when you only have 25 feet left, please. Mark. Will do. Oh, it's muddy. So were we at 28 feet of water back there? Yeah. When I, the problem is he's got like. Five feet on either side yeah. of the boat. Yeah. He, but can, he can do the it. The keel is only a foot, you know, whatever it is. Right. Pointing out the extra rocks. Saving Foggy Bay. It's a great anchorage, fantastic, good mud bottom, pulled a lot of mud on deck. Heading to Dixon entrance. We're on our way to Prince Rupert. in the kitchen. Oh my goodness. Oh That's my awesome. goodness. Yum. The BLT. Sailor knife curves. And on one end that has a shank for getting with lines. Oh, oh. Oh. He can see it. Yeah.
is the Yacht Club office. Super nice in there. Nice laundry facility, shower, sitting area. They have internet, Wi-Fi. We just ate at Breakers Pub. That was really good food. And they're going to be rebuilding their docks next summer, I believe. So this will be really nice. Super friendly people here. Friends Rupert just went to Sea Sport. Fantastic store. place to eat. This is Prince Rupert Yacht Club and they are fantastic here. Super nice guy, had lots of information, amazingly nice showers and laundry facility and really nice. They're actually redoing their dock so by next summer it will be really nice. Yep, close to town, easy to walk to. Very nice. Leaving Prince Rupert, October 8th. We got a small six hour break. Boy, isn't that press of all the in the weather, we should make it to the inside passage. Do you want creamer? Uh, no. Okay. Scott's up there spotlighting. Spotlighted the big ship and they turned up on their lights on the top. I'm all but a bird. Okay, I'm gonna be talking on the radio. Only talk to me if you need me. Scott, no matter what you do, do not shine the light on this new approaching vessel. Thank you. in the BC Ferry. They passed us this morning heading into Prince Rupert and we were leaving. We are gonna fill this wake. 
again. Nice to see him in the daylight, though. What a cool-looking boat. The ferry's going 17 knots. We're going a whole 4.8. We would love to lasso the ferry and add some speed. Since we have 20.7 or 8 knots of wind on our nose or bow. Yes. 17 knots. and keeps coming down and doing research see if there's a better spot to stop tonight since we have such great weather he's got his books out his navionics out
All right, so we made egg bread, cinnamon rolls. We're gonna see how they turn out. First time making cinnamon rolls in a long time. I think I've only made them once before, so we're doing it. I'm gonna cover it with my paper towel because that's pretty much all I got to cover it with. So, let's see how these turn out. Hopefully, really good. And it should be right at lunchtime. And the guys are crossing right now. A big channel, whale channel. Actually saw some whales. check in with the next spot. We started there. We're going to here. Dinner well underway. Make it longer trip today. So we got beef stir fry, salad, fruit salad, veggies. to an Indian village, 6.30. And now it's a little too dark to take any photos, but decided to try. It's neat looking. We're leaving here tomorrow at 6.30 a.m. So we might not be able to see it tomorrow if I try to take a video. It's pretty neat. We're gonna talk at one of those, but there's a lot of little boats on there, so. We're anchoring. In the next episode, we are on day 12 of our journey, leaving Kimtu Bay and heading to Shearwater to wait out another big storm.